Designing can be very scary, but in order to have a successful print on demand business, you have to know how to design, whether that's text designs and knowing what to put on there or beautiful illustrations, you have to have some sort of design. But what I'm excited to tell you is that you don't need to have a ton of design experience or even any design experience to utilize a bunch of awesome tools out there to help you grow to six figures of revenue. And so today I'm going to walk you through my favorite platform for designing really cool, graphic, awesome designs. So that way you can do it too. And I'm also going to show you some of my personal picks for what I think will trend well this Christmas season. So this is part two of my Kittle series. I love this platform so much because it is the secret weapon for people that have graphic design liked items, but don't have the money to pay for a graphic designer and don't have the time to learn how to use Adobe Illustrator. And so this platform is a fantastic way for you to walk through, quickly edit things based off of templates. So you can have inspiration, but customize every single element if you would like to, and then utilize that for your print on demand providers. So if you've been following my channel, every couple of weeks, I post different like trend updates on how do I find different trends I've been very vocal about half the battle is designing really cool stuff, but you also have to be designing things that people want to buy. And that could mean that it fits a need in their life or it is following some recent trend right now. And a couple weeks ago, I walked through and I showed how I use Pinterest trends to predict different trends for the future. And one of the trends that I thought was super interesting on there is in the last year or so, the trend for funny tea has scaled a ton. And so my trend prediction is that now that we've had these kind of like self-deprecating t-shirts that are really funny, I think that trend will continue into the holiday season, into holiday designs, but also with like funny, different themes to them. Utilizing that nugget of knowledge, I've gone over to Etsy and utilized Everbee to do my trend research. On Everbee, I basically gone through and typed in funny Christmas and there were a few that populated as hilarious that I think I want to incorporate and design differently based off of our trend prediction of funny t-shirt. So obviously, as I mentioned, funny t-shirt was trending super well. I think the funny sweatshirt is a clear one-to-one -one of t-shirts are still very popular, but there's a way here that we think through seasonality of it being a little bit chilly and how we can utilize that funny trend onto sweatshirts. One thing that I wanna mention about this listing is it is showing that it has done $2,800 per month in revenue and it has been listed for 26 months. When you're looking at this type of data is yes, it has been live for 26 months, but it is unlikely that this product sells in any months other than November and December. So realistically, this design has likely done $70,000 of revenue between November, December, two years ago, and then November, December last year. So that is a ton of revenue to pack into a month. And I think this trend is something that will continue to perform really, really well this holiday season if the self-deprecating and funny teas are any indicator of what is to come. And so today with Kittle, we're gonna be utilizing some of these kind of inspirations to see what's trending on Kittle, utilize that as inspiration, and take those learnings to design our own bestsellers. So so I've went ahead and I've just like scrolled through Kittle. I'm in here all the time and I will just bookmark things. If I like them and I think it's interesting and it catches my eye, then it is something that I will bookmark. We know that vintage stuff is trending really well. We know that this like funny, graphic, aggressive is trending really well. Um, we know that the cartoons are trending really well. So you can take these different things, throw them into here so you can come back to them. And then when you have an idea of what you want to design, you can take them as inspiration and add your own spin to them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this design. This is bringing me inspiration from this graphic that I've seen elsewhere of Santa Claus blowing bubble gum that I think would perform really well here. And I'm gonna use this design to tweak it and edit it with that in mind, utilizing the text of, I love a man with the beard because that trended really well in that sweatshirt design. So I think it will trend really well with our design as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this image because it doesn't necessarily 
fit exactly what we're trying to do. And I love that this little starburst is left behind. And then I'm going to upload the image that I want to use because I have it and I own it on my own accord. So once I have that added in, you can kind of see why I like the inspiration of this. I think it adds a lot of fun that we can tweak and make changes to this shirt. And I think with adding some sort of text along the lines of, I love a man with the beard, I think it would perform really, really well. And so I love that I'm using this as a basis, but I'm going to make some tweaks and edits to the font because I still want it to be a little bit Christmassy, but I like these additional kind of like vintage elements of design pieces that I think add to the Y2K type version of it. So once again, I'm going to ungroup these because I don't need to use all of them, but I want to have some of them. And then I'm going to delete a lot of this text. So next I can add in whatever type of text that I want. I am gonna go over to text and I'm going to look at the different types of inspiration that they have in here. I kind of like this like golden times. It's also giving that like vintage design element to it. I am going to pull it up to here and I'm going to make some tweaks. So once I have that in here, you can kind of see the inspo coming to life. And then I'm going to make some changes in colors to this. And so, so far, I'm really liking the way that this comes about. It's super strong, it's bold, it is data-driven because we know that people like this saying, and it's funny, which we know has trended super well this year. So now I can just make some changes to the coloring of the text so it's super strong on a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. So this is what I'm left with, and I think it's super cute. It has that aesthetic of being vintage, which is super popular right now. It has the text, which I think is very funny and is very on trend with the theme of funny. It has some like vintage Y2K elements that I think would perform super well. And this is one that I would throw onto a hoodie and a t-shirt, and I think it would fill up the space perfectly. Another design that has been popular a lot is this like t-shirt where it's like a girl's name or a dog's name and then multiple pictures of a dog. I think that type of trend would do very well this holiday season as well to kind of give that similar type of vibe. Utilizing that same image with Santa blowing bubbles and these like pink flames, I think it would do super well. And so what's so cool about print on demand is that you can continue to utilize these different elements, different sayings, and kind of tweak it and make it your own across a a plethora of different designs to see what would sell well. We're constantly iterating and doing different trends to see if we can find something that fits with what people are wanting and the trends that we're seeing. So I'm gonna tweak and edit this design. I don't wanna mess with this graphic. So I'm just going to add it as a secondary template into here as well. So I have two of them. So if I forget something or if I delete something that I don't wanna delete, I can always go back in and grab it again. So I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these pieces because we know inherently that we're not going to use them. This wolf is not Christmas centric. And then I'm gonna go over to my uploads and I'm going to find that picture of Santa again. And then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to grab some of these cool elements from the other design and pull them over. So once I have that, I can add in these like crazy cool. This blocked writing is super cool, but I think we need something a little bit different that kind of stands out from this saying of just like individual rogue. So I'm gonna add on to here, daddy claws. And if you ever find that you're like clicking on things and it's not clicking properly, you can go over to the layers button so you can see what we need to be clicking on. It has all of the different layers here for the artboard to make sure that you're grabbing the right one. So for this one, I actually wanna make it all caps. So now we have daddy claws, some cool flames, and this additional kind of signage at the bottom. I want to make sure I'm adding in different elements that kind of bring more Christmas elements into this and still make it kind of fun. Actually, I have an idea and I think looking at this design, I think it looks super cool. I'm going to throw in this template here. It has these cool like reindeer coming out from the sides and I'm wondering if I can design something that looks similar to that instead of the flames. So I'm gonna try utilizing their AI to see if I can find something that looks close to that. So I'm gonna go over to their AI and I'm going to choose image generator 
and I'm gonna go down to the vector style and I'm going to type in running reindeer. It's like an actual reindeer. Okay, let me try it again. Flying reindeer that looks like graphic flames. Okay, so this one is much better. It kind of has like a similar type of flame element that I'm kind of digging. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this other one and I'm going to pull the reindeer over here. I'm going to delete these flames on ours. I kind of like that. I think it adds like a fun festive element to that. So I'm just going to delete this and then I will need to flip it to be horizontal so it matches. So I'm just gonna hit flip horizontal and then allow it to match up here as well. And I think I might wanna make these a different color so they stand out a bit more. So I'm gonna hit browse colors. I'm gonna do my little dropper and I'm gonna land it on his pink bubble gum. And I'm gonna do that here too. Keep in mind, this is a design choice. If you like the flames, this is to each their own, right? Like I'm just trying to make it a little bit different, a little bit Christmas. So that way it stands out from what currently exists. So I'm gonna go back to templates and I really just wanna add in some text at the bottom that gives me a little bit of a harder sentiment that this is Christmas. And I'm gonna add in this very similar type of artboard. It'll pull over to here. And what I like about this artboard is this like text at the bottom. I really like these elements. I'm gonna ungroup all that. I'm gonna copy all of this text and I'm gonna go back over to my design and I'm going to paste it. So once I paste it on there, I'm gonna pull it down to the bottom. And what I kind of wanna put here is in smaller text, one night only. Kind of obscure, kind of different. I just think it's a funny take on the fact that he works one night only, right? He's out there delivering gifts. I think people will get it. I think they'll think it's different. I haven't seen that on a t-shirt and I think it would be cute. So I'm gonna change this to be one night only and make sure that our text fits properly. Then I'm gonna make some tweaks to the colors, but for the most part, I'm really liking how this has come out. And if you ever notice that like a color is sticking around that you don't want to stick around, somehow that gets fit into their color palette. So if you go and you click color palette, you can see what's flowing into here and you can make some changes. Like let's say I wanna make this glow white and I want this blue to also be white. This is a design that I also think is very fun. I'm gonna call it Daddy Claws. I'm gonna make sure that I'm exporting it to a high pixel count. So at least 5,000 by 5,000 pixels. I'm gonna do transparent download only. And I'm going to slap this onto a black hoodie and see how hard it can go. And there you have it. That is how I would use Kittle to design some holiday festive bestsellers that are foundationed on data amongst vintage being super popular right now, funny being super popular right now, going into hoodies. As a reminder, if you're interested in Kittle, you can check them out in the link below. You can use my promo code MEGYT and that will get you 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on which subscription you go with. And so I can't wait to see all the different things that you all make with Kittle. If this has been helpful whatsoever, please like and subscribe for more content like this. I make videos weekly.